What is up? It is Rocky Tiger here coming at you with episode two on the Hearthside season one server. We are a brand new Minecraft server. A couple of old friends, a couple of new friends, but we are playing in the 20W08A snapshot of 1.16, the Nether update. So we kind of uh, had some beginning antics uh, the other day, kind of getting everything started as best as we can. And it is looking pretty dark right here right now um, let's see if I can go ahead and sleep I don't know if anyone else is doing anything that requires nighttime or not uh, always nice to ask beforehand let's um, please it's it's looking a little scary right here right now okay I'm gonna go ahead and sleep in so we uh, got pretty busy yesterday with getting everything kind of uh, started and worked on. Um, didn't actually cover any of the stuff here at Spawn. We kind of have a little bit of a community set up here. Uh, is this quite at full yet? No. Oh, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It is. It is full, full enchantment set up. Cool. And we've got a ton of... Uh, lapis already maples things oh no maple why did you leave your things right there um i got off a little bit early yesterday earlier than i wanted to um but you know i was kind of tired and needed to get to sleep and needed to get the first episode up and going so uh holy cow do we have a lot of eggs or what that is crazy i didn't mean to pick all those up i don't want these get rid of these nah. so this is kind of our spawn area here on our 1.16 server i am currently playing with the pixographs texture pack which i have not done a review for so don't go looking for that um it's supposed to be updated for 1.16 i don't think it is complete yet if it is um then i just didn't know about it and haven't updated it <laughs> I don't think it is, um, as of me actually filming this video, but I'm liking it so far. I think it adds a little bit of a different flair to the game, a little bit of a different uh, just overall feeling. Um, one thing of note about this texture pack, if you're interested in using it, is that it is um, not... Uh, what was what, I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say uh, this here we go here this is a good example um, it's not super super consistent here dandelions dandelions see we've got different colors for dandelions you could have uh, the kind of white puffy dandelions or you could still have them in their yellow shape um, yellow stage it's the same thing with some of the other uh, da, 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 flowers. I think that might be a good example. What is it? The Azure Bennett or Azure Bennett flower? Um, Benet? I don't know. I can't pronounce flowers. I'm not, don't look at me like that. Um, let's see. Are these ones the same? Cornflower. And that's also a cornflower. So you see you have different colors for the different things, which is, it's neat. It's definitely cool um, when they're growing but it does make it a little bit hard to tell the difference between one or the other but uh, you know other than that it's uh, not too bad um, I mean this is really about the only real gripe I have and it's not even a real gripe it's just kind of makes it a little bit more challenging for collecting dye but other than that it's perfectly fine um, simple clean there's a skelly spawner near spawn where is the question <laughs> i don't know where it is that would be the problem i am being shown the location of the skelly spawner very nice this seems to be like one of the things that we do at the beginning of every server is find ourselves a skeleton spawner very nice but I think we'll sit here just a bit and get ourselves some levels and then uh, 
regroup once we've got enough to actually get some enchanting going on. All right, we've got our 30 enchantment levels. There is just one eensy teensy little problem here. And that is uh, this, this chest right here. Enchanting materials. It's empty. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to go back up. So sad. All the way to our community enchanting area, which is... This, I think it's this way. I think it's this way. This is this is east. Oh, I don't know now actually. I can't remember. I think this is the way. We're gonna head this way. Um, I'm fairly certain this is the right direction. <laughs> We'll, I guess we'll find out if we don't find spawn around the side of this mountain. Um, yeah, this is... No. No, it's it's got to be this way, right? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we'll, we're going to find spawn. And I am now... Yeah, I'm, I'm very certain that it is, in fact this direction but we'll we'll find out um i should have been paying more attention if it's not then we'll turn around and head off the other direction until we find it so okay all right cool um yeah so we were right we were heading the wrong direction at first it was west it's east of spawn and we need to be headed west so now we are back towards Let's see, there's scare stuff, scar, I don't know, how do you pronounce, is it scarecrow? So scarecrow, I've always been pronouncing it scarcrow, I don't know why, um, but if that's the main spawn hut, then our community stuff should be over here where this bamboo is, where our enchanting table with lapis should be located. And there it is. If someone's come in here and taken all the lapis, I will be very, very sad. Let's see. Nope, there we go. All right, we're gonna grab some lapis. Efficiency four. Anything else? Ooh, efficiency four. Fortune three. Unbreaking three. That is a pretty a spectacular. Um, while we're at it over here, we're gonna be nice and good community members and we're going to harvest and replant everything and we're going to do this for several reasons um one reason is that it's always good to be a good helpful tiger member of the community the other reason is because i don't know what eh, eggs holy cow there's a lot of eggs in here um, I actually don't know what some of these are yet because it's a new texture pack that I haven't really played around with that much. And I'm pretty sure these are going to be carrots. All right. That's carrots. What do these look like when they're... Okay, they just look like little seeds. That's not super helpful. Obviously, this is going to be wheat. So that one's an obvious one, and we've done that before. We had wheat, so we're okay with the wheat. This next one looks like beetroot. And it is beetroot, which I'm not going to say is useless, but I am going to say that it is almost useless. And that one's pretty obvious, too. Okay, this one's got to be potatoes, then. And it is. And I heard someone say something that if you hit with... Ah, uh, you do. Okay. Apparently, if you hit or harvest potatoes with fortune, you get more potatoes. I never knew that. But those are little purpley looking ones. Nice. And I think the fortune thing also works with carrots as well. So let's, let's find out. We're going to do an experiment here real quick. All right, 
extra potatoes, beetroot seeds, wheat seeds, all that stuff that's going to go in this chest real quick. Uh, wheat and everything. All right, so first we're going to harvest some carrots without fortune. And we got three. We're going to harvest some wheat without fortune. And we got only one. And we're going to harvest some potatoes without fortune. And we got four. Okay. So we got three. We got four seeds, four potatoes, three carrots, and one wheat. Now, this is probably not going to be a really good test because it's not... Uh, that's a very small sample size. But let's see. Six? Okay, that's a way more. And potatoes. So we didn't get any more wheat than we would have normally. But look, we got seven potatoes, only two seeds, six carrots. That is absolutely crazy. That is a crazy, crazy, crazy difference. Um, we'll see how much stuff we can actually manage to harvest here. Like, I already got a full stack of carrots from that. That is insane. I had no idea that that was a thing. I, I've i been playing this game for a while, too, and I had no idea that was a thing. Um, should I be ashamed of myself that I didn't know that was a thing? And it turns out I didn't really get that many potatoes, um, which is kind of odd, unless those are ones that I already harvest, or was I... Uh, that's not the potato row, is it? Let, let's see. Up oh, there it is. All right, I knew I had left my boat around here somewhere. So we are now to the uh, north of Spawn. Uh, we're kind of on, from what I've been told, a big island continent. Um, now I don't know what the size or shape is, and that is really nice looking. Um, I just tried to use my cheaty Optifine zoom key and then had to remind myself that there is no Optifine. Um, but yeah, our base this season is to the east of spawn and that build just really does look really cool doesn't it um maybe we should pay attention to where we are going uh our base is going to be to the east of spawn i have an idea i don't know how well i'll be able to pull it off but i wanted to go with like i think i said in the last episode a completely different build style from anything that i've really done in a minecraft world before when it comes to a um what's the word multiplayer server and my base and everything so the last couple seasons uh season one of beyond vanilla i did a, a kind of dwarven style builds uh season two obviously i did my kind of nordic style build and so it was really kind of uh what i'm more familiar with are the medieval sort of style buildings and you know, I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm particularly good at that. Um, I can outgrind anyone on the server when I have enough time, obviously. But uh, my builds are, well, they leave a little bit something to be desired. But I really liked the way that that um, Beyond Vanilla Season 2 Welcome Center turned out. And... So I'm really thinking that I'm also going way too far off into the ocean, um, but I'm thinking that that might be the kind of style of build that might look really, really cool. Now, there is a slight problem, and that problem is that I haven't played around with this texture pack too much, and I don't know how glass or concrete or anything like that um, look in this texture pack so i think what we'll do here real quick is we're gonna get ourselves some sand so that we can smelt it up and get ourselves some glass and some glass panes and so we can see if doing a uh, and, and even some concrete too um, so we can see if doing a build of that style with this texture pack 
is even something that is feasible. Um, this, by the way, is where my base is going to be, is kind of up and inside this mountain. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I kind of have an idea to connect it using a kind of a glass bridge. Um, I wish you could put glass panes down like carpets. That would be really, really cool. Um, but you can't. So we're going to go ahead and head down to the mine because this is actually the fastest way of currently getting back up to the top. That sounds kind of silly, but you'll see exactly what I mean when we get down here. Da, 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 da. It, it's a ways. This goes all the way down to Wiley level 13. And there we go. Bubble Vaders. Bubble Vaders. <laughs> and thump. there we go. Up to the top. Let's get our spawn set. Best change from 1.16 ever is that I can set my spawn wherever. And we have, of course, the Rocky Mountains. It's funny, no? Yes. Um, so let's get some glass. Got a singular piece of iron. We do have a few diamonds, so that's lovely. And we've got some steak, which is also lovely. Let's just drop some of this stuff off in here. And... There we go. All right. What's our glass look like? It's not seamless. And, oh, I don't, I don't have silk touch. Crap. All right. Well, we'll let this glass uh, smelt up real quick and then we'll make some glass panes and see how those look. Um, the glass may not be seamless, which is kind of a bummer, but what it also isn't is it doesn't have uh, frames going through it. So even though it's not seamless, it should still be just fine for our kind of modern looking builds that we want. The only other thing that we're going to have to check and see is how does concrete look in this texture pack. And I guess I could always just hop into a creative world and take a look and see. But, you know, um, I don't really feel like doing that at this particular moment in time. So, but yeah, this is what our uh, base area is is going to be we're at the very top of the mountain right now but what my plan is is to actually knock it down to about this level pretty much on par with where my water uh, bubble vaders are coming up and we're going to build a ultra modern looking uh, house up here lots of glass lots of concrete very simple lines it's going to be um, very, very much of a modern architecture style of build that I think will look pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at this glass as well, just to make sure. So it's got, uh, panes going between it. I'm sliding around on some ice. Uh, not bad. I think, I think we can make it work. You know, it's... It's not the best. Um, if I really need to, then I can always just, uh, I can always go without using a texture pack, even though I really like this one. But, you know, we'll, we'll take a look and we'll see. This one is the, what is it? I'm blanking on what it's called all of a sudden, um, Pixagraph. So it is kind of a medieval style texture pack. I mean, look at all this. It, it's very much a medieval sort of feel to everything, not a modern feel. Um, but you know, I think I'll stick with it for right now. And if I really decide that I don't like it, then I can always change it later. Um, should have grabbed some seeds so I could kind of build my little farm in here. But for right now, I think it is time for some good old fashioned mining this is the name of the game. After all, uh, we've kind of started the, I don't even know what to call it, the, the spine of our strip mine and we've come a pretty decent number of blocks heading in a north direction um, gold is actually worthwhile to to mine again i don't know if the pig farm the crazy zombie pig farm is still going to be a valid 
a build or an, even a doable build in Minecraft 1.16. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I have a feeling that it's just not going to work out the same way that it used to, but you know, that's okay. That is okay. It was kind of cheaty anyways. Um, not saying it was cheating, I'm saying it was kind of cheaty. But I think that we will do some some mining here and uh, see how many diamonds we can get in the next hour or so. And I'll meet up with you guys when I'm done because no one wants to see me just hack away at these blocks. Alright, we haven't even gone that far. We're on what I would call kind of the outline of the rib cage. If the spine is over there, um, we literally dug out the first section because there's where our spine is dug out to here and then just started digging a long line this way um, this is how I like to do my uh, branch mines um, I dig out these massive kind of block sections and then I come back in and fill out every other two ones um, but we already found at least a three vein or three block vein of diamond and some coal which we'll get here as well and we got that fortune three pickaxe yo so i think that we're gonna be hopefully let's see what happens aha at least at least a four a five all right so it's probably gonna stop at five a six seven woo we got a seven vein one here at least right isn't that right am i am i doing my math right am i counting right one two three four five six seven so i think that's gonna be fantastic with fortune three let's see how many diamonds we get and it was an eight vein and we also got some gold, so let's get this gold gathered up real quick, like, um, kind of work our way, fill in our hole. That's another, this is a pet peeve of mine. I hate leaving big holes when I'm mining. Let's see, how many diamonds did we get? 21, awesome, awesome, awesome. That is fantastic. Uh, that is probably, I mean, an eight vein, eight block vein diamond. That is just unreal we made our way back out to that first ravine so i think that is a good point to go back and start kind of uh, digging out the uh pathways that go back and forth in between here again we're at uh y level 12 right now i can never remember what the most efficient place is to do uh, mining for diamonds I, I just and also to be honest I, I don't really care if one is you know well you get You'll get just a 2% increase if you go one level further down or anything like that. That doesn't really bother me. I'm usually pretty careful, uh, so I don't really need to worry too much about lava. I always carry around a bucket of water. Um, got into that habit after learning things the hard way. Um, so we'll just keep on mining away, seeing how many resources we can gather up. Because so far, though, we are off to a tremendous tremendous start and i think we'll go ahead and get that organized a little bit better no actually let's go ahead i'm gonna put all the stuff out of this chest and drop everything that i'm currently considering non-valuable I know this stuff has value but everything that i'm considering non-valuable is going to go in that chest um, and we'll get all of our valuables in this one. So, uh, yeah, I, again, I'm going to get back to it and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right. So we just mined a short distance. We kind of did our branch mine out to the first ravine. So I'm literally walking and have now walked that entire distance from where we branched mine out to. You can see branching out about one chunk length in either direction ignore that that doesn't count um so just every two blocks you know or i guess it's technically every th third block right so you have one two three then go 
and uh yeah that took you know about 15 or so minutes and this is what we got from that we got a lot of coal 39 diamonds 26 gold ore about a stack and a half of iron ore and 28 lapis lazuli and at the same time you know we'll go ahead just because it's fair we got uh, enough cobble to fill my inventory although that's not all from just that um, we did get some flint and i think yep we've got about a, a little bit over a stack a stack and three of gravel um, which is going to be really important later on because you know we're going to be using a lot of concrete this season so getting a lot of gravel is going to be pretty important um, i did waste some gravel though shame on me because i was digging it out with my fortune 3 diamond pickaxe which means that it dropped more flint than almost um, anything else so shame 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 on me let's go ahead and get those oh we can't get any lapis blocks yet where's my miscellaneous chest fill that up with cobble uh, i think i'm just gonna need a cobble chest let's do a cobble double chest real quick get some birchy birch wood and the cobble chest I think I end up usually getting one of these every Minecraft world that I play on is just a chest completely slam full of cobble. Um, I guess this will kind of be a dirt chest for right now with a little bit of glass from checking on that texture pack earlier. But yeah, let's get our lapis blocks. Let's get those blocks of diamond. Get those blocks of coal. Go ahead and see where we kind of wind up we've got lots of ore that we need to smelt so let's get to a smeltery what do i need to do to build a blast furnace i always forget what is it smooth stone that's what i need okay uh well we've got the iron to make another blast furnace so i think we can get, did I have any more smooth stone? I have one more smooth stone, one regular stone. I don't have any cobble up here and I do have a furnace. So let's get some smooth stone. Smelt it up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and just make some furnaces down here. Let's do four that should be plenty get that smelting um, I, I need to remember where I'm actually putting all my stuff <laughs> we'll leave that in here for right now we've got just stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff Furnaces are smelting. Got those blast furnaces going so we can get some uh, some stuff all smelted up pretty quickly here. And I think that the next point of order is going to be to kind of tidy up this top spot here. We're going to get rid of this tree and then uh, start blasting away at trying to level this area out um, so we can get started on the rest of the base. So I get to that and use that wonderful uh, miracle of video editing and see you guys once I've gotten, I need to make myself a shovel, I think, a good diamond shovel. I'll go and enchant that up. Um, and while I'm at it, I might go ahead and make a diamond axe and some rest of my diamond gear. Uh, I'm kind of debating whether or not, I think I'm just going to go with the iron armor for right now. I'm not going to be in too terribly much danger. Um, let's, did I, I guess my, my other bucket must be down the hill. So 
go ahead and make myself a renewable water source real quick as well. I always like having at least the capability of doing that. So, duh, duh, come on, up, 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 up. There we go. All right. I know it's gonna freeze, I don't care. I can always break the ice, it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get to that real quick. Go ahead and plop my bed down so I can set my spawn. And uh, yeah, try and uh, keep all of this stuff organized. But I will uh, get back with y'all once this whole area is kind of leveled. on just a little bit more just a little bit more almost done ah <sighs> okay okay that's the last big amount of digging out that i'm gonna do until i have a beacon with haste two and that rhymed and it was not intentional um but yeah Holy cow, I had forgotten how spoiled I get by having a beacon. That's just absolutely insane how long it can take. Now, I, I can't remember, and I don't think this is the case, but I don't think that Efficiency 5 does you a whole heck of a lot of good unless you have haste to um i could be completely wrong but i seem to think that that might be a thing um but look at all of this look look we've basically filled up our junk chest with dirt and grass blocks thanks to my little uh, silky touch diamond shovel here but yikes just crazy amounts of uh digging here we have a completely full double chest full of cobble and a good amount the other day um, I do think that yesterday went pretty well um, by the way the first day of the server this is day two on the server and yeah we've cleared out this area it is going to be a fun fun modern house sort of build I really like the way that the cliff kind of overhangs right here and I have an idea and I'm, this is kind of what my idea is going to be, is that I'm going to have, <laughs> yeah, it's, all right, first couple days on the server woes, we always have issues, and every new server is going to have issues with people dropping off, um, but, you know, if you're interested in joining Hearthside, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below, I mean, we'd love to have more people joining us, not a ton of people necessarily, we're trying to build a small, tight-knit community, but, you know, leave a comment down in the comment box down below. Um, anyways, what I'm thinking is that the main structure of the house is going to be right about here, and then a porch slash deck is going to kind of come off and extend outwards a little bit past, uh, probably about to here, past the edge of the cliff, and then branching off of that porch is going to be a glass floor bridge that's going to bridge out over to this little structure here and then I kind of want to do another small super modern looking glass structure on top of that um, peak as well uh, with kind of a, a staircase kind of thing coming back up to here so I'm probably going to level that off um, just a little bit probably to about that height and then it's just going to have another spot going down to there and I may make that the master bedroom type area I don't really know um, the rest of the house though is going to have an ultra modern design so the next episode I'm going to start working on laying out all of the uh Kind of the outline of what i want this house structure to be and that will be a good long and fun time now right now where is it i need to come down all the way to 
my little uh, mining area down here, which takes a very long amount of time to get down to there, but I need my gravel. I need gravel and I need any bones that I have collected because I need the bone meal because I'm going to make some concrete and make sure that it actually looks good. Oh, I do have a little bit of sand too. That's perfect. Oops, missed the bones. Nothing there. All right. Perfect. 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 We've got gravel. We've got sand. Let's see. What do I need to make some concrete powder? I need the dye. So that's really easy. Make some bone meal and now make some white dye. And now I can make some white concrete powder. Perfect. And let's go take a look and see what the concrete is going to look like with the Pixagraph texture pack. Um, I also need to find, if we have a mining desert, where that mining desert might be located. But here we go. Let's just lay it all out. Moment of truth. What's it going to look like? And it's not as clean as I would like but it's not bad it's not horrible I think we can make it work and if it doesn't work um, I have no idea what terracotta looks like in this texture pack uh, let's why don't we do this real quick um, we'll find a place to put this for right now we'll dump it off in here and let's hop over to a creative world and see if we can figure out what these blocks look like so we kind of know what our palette is going to be. Okay, so we're taking a look at some of these different blocks in a just super flat creative world. Um, so we have white terracotta, we have cyan terracotta, uh, black terracotta, and the blue terracotta, which looks kind of purplish. Um, not necessarily bad, but what I'm noticing here, and let's drop um, that right next to it, is that the, uh, the texture is actually exactly the same. It's just a different coloration. And if I put cyan terracotta next to the gray concrete, it's just a slightly off shade. So that's kind of, kind of a bummer, just a little bit. Um, the blue is a different color, thankfully, but you know, I think I can make this work for doing a modern build. You know, another thing that I could always check and see what does uh, not that I really want to build anything out of wool, yeah, that does not look as good. Um, kind of a, a bit of a disappointment, but you know, it is a block that is, or not a block, a texture pack that is very much a um. Kind of a medieval look to it i mean again like i said it, it, it's kind of got that medieval styling to it so last thing we'll check is quartz uh smooth quartz nice chiseled quartz block of quartz and quartz pillar quartz pillars are seamless um yeah, I don't want to build it out of quartz. That looks way too much like quartz. I think we'll still go with concrete. I think the texture might actually make it look pretty cool. And then the last thing that I had I like looking at is glass. We're going to look at the black stained glass and the cyan stained glass panes. And that is... It's not seamless, but it is... It's, it's not bad it it'll lend itself I think pretty well to the overall design and then doing something like let's see let's grab that concrete kind of you can get a little bit of the idea of where I'm kind of headed with this um, just sort of building designs kind of like that with glass and concrete uh, I'm not going to say that I'm in love with it, but it's definitely not 
horrible. I would love if it was seamless, but I know that's just not going to be the case. One more thing I wanted to take a look at as well. While we're at it, let's just grab a random glass block. And then a regular glass block as well. Interesting. But they have different textures between the glass blocks and the stained glass. Um, same thing with the glass panes and the stained glass panes. Not horrible. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the texture pack for right now just for kind of consistency's sake. Um, but no, it's it's overall it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Ooh, I hadn't even seen this before. Sorry, I got distracted. Squirrel, TNT. Interesting. Let's go ahead and just grab some flint and steel and blow it up just because I feel like it. <laughs> Look at that explosion, cartoon explosions. That's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and hop back over to the Hearthside server. Okay, so um, kind of gives us a little bit of an idea of what we've got to work with here. Uh, concrete is not as good as I would have hoped, but it's not horrible. Um, I think what we'll do starting off the next episode is we're going to start kind of outlining the general build of the house um, if we don't do that we might go ahead and uh, try and find ourselves a mining desert maybe go and do a little bit of exploring um, so we can get some sand and just go ahead and start building it with the concrete instead now I'm gonna need a lot of gravel which I've got some gravel um, and I'm going to need a lot of sand and a lot of white dye. Now, thankfully, we have the skeleton farm, and so white dye is going to be easy to get our hands on. Um, if we can find a desert, getting ourselves tons of sand is also going to be easy. The biggest challenge is going to be probably getting ourselves a lot of gravel. Now, with the nether update, I don't know how much gravel we'll be finding in the nether itself. Gravelly mountains would be great, but I have no idea where any of those are either. Uh, so we'll probably stick with just doing the basic outline of the building using dirt blocks or something easily removable. Um, but that is all the time that I've got for today. If you are enjoying the videos so far or just are glad to see me back playing Minecraft, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're really liking the videos and want to see more episodes on the Hearthside server, go ahead and subscribe. New videos on the Hearthside Minecraft server will be coming out uh, probably on a, I want to say a Monday and Friday basis right now. I don't really have an actual set schedule for it yet. Um, just kind of got to go with the flow. Um, so with all of that though, I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye. Actually, one last thing. Um, I think that's a sunken ship down there. And so let's go and see if there's any treasure. Uh, it is a sunken ship. Okay, cool. Let's. And it hasn't been raided. Suspicious stew and paper and let's come back up to the surface and back down we go is there anything else up oh, there's the other chest books feather buried treasure map and paper so that actually gives us a something that we're going to do at the start of the next episode. We are going to go looking for buried treasure because why not? That sounds like fun. Anyways, for real this time, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.